Hey there and Happy New Year! This is Ilze B, the Latvian language teacher with my first video of 2019. And I'm very excited about the project that I would like to tell you about today. But first I'd like to teach you a new word. That word is labdarība. Labdarība. Labdarība means a good act or goodwill or charity. So this is how I wanted to start 2019, by doing something good, bringing joy into somebody's life and I invite you to do it together with me. So the project that I would like you to know about is called Angela Pasts. Angela Pasts means angels male. And there are two words in the name of this project. The first word is Angela and the second word is pasts and angelia means angels in the possessive form or we say this is the genitive case in Latvian because this word describes the other word, the word pasts and pasts means mail or post office. So altogether angelia pasts but I'll also tell you the default form of the word angelia and that is angelis and angelis means an angel but in this name it changes to angelia angelia pasts so angelia pasts is a project started by liga uzulana and you can read more about it at www angelapast.lv but there is information mostly in Latvian so I'll tell you more about it. So this is a project where you are invited to send a short letter or a postcard to somebody who is old and lonely and lives in one of the senior centers in Latvia and right now there are 70 senior centers participating in this project waiting for you to send them a letter to not to them but one of the persons who live there and altogether there are about 6,000 such people and new senior centers are still joining so maybe by the time you are writing to them they there are even more people and you can actually pick people who you want to write to and I'll show you how to do it in a minute but it's interesting and if you are a learner of Latvian you'll see that there will be little descriptions of each person who will be happy to receive your letter and you'll see that some people are described as very happy and there's a woman who likes to knit a lot and you can read these short descriptions and try to figure out what they mean in Latvian. I promise that they are very in a very simple Latvian language so I think you'll enjoy reading this information. So let's switch to the screen where I can show you how to get to this information. I'll show you through all the steps that you should take and I'll even teach you some sentences that you can write to that old person in Latvia. Let's do it. So this is the page that opens after we type www.engelapasts.lv and the first menu item is Sākums. Sākums means the beginning and the subtitle is par projektu which means about the project and the other subtitle is labie vārdi which means the good words and next is projects but first I'd like to show you this title Laipni aicināti Angela pastā which means welcome in the angels mail and here in this little article we can read that we can send not only postcards and letters but we can also send small packages to the people in senior centers and those packages make them very very happy but let's go to the menu item projekti and first is Ziemassvatki which is Christmas and that's already past and is closed so we'll pick vastules un kartiņas. Vastules un kartiņas means letters and postcards so I'll click on this 
and another page opens and this is the page that we want and the title of the page says Uzraksti vēstuli vai nosūti skaistu kartiņu and it means write a letter or send a beautiful postcard and here I'm waiting for the button and the button showed up so this says adresātu saraksti which means the list of recipients and I'll click this button and we see that another page opens and um, some of the text is out of the screen for you but I'll just tell you that these are the regions of Latvia first is Vidzeme, second is Latgale, next is Kurzeme, then we have Riga region, Riga's regions and Zemgale. So let's just click on something here in the middle so that you can see. For instance, uh, Kurzeme filiale Liepāja, Valsts sociālās aprūpas centrs, which means state social care center. Kurzeme, and so I'm clicking on this one. And now we have a list of recipients. First is the number that they each have one that they are assigned. And next we see a name, Airita, and the first letter of their surname. Uh, next, Dzimums means sex, so Siev stands for sieviete, which means female or woman, and vīr stands for vīrietis, which means a man or a male, and see, we see that these people are young. So this is not a senior center, this is probably a center for disabled people. So we see the age of these people, and next is raksturojums, and raksturojums is the de description or personality description of each of these people. So, for instance, here, patīk hokejs, it means that this person likes hockey or ice hockey, and patīk lasīt grāmatas means likes to read books, and pārvietojas riteņ krēslā means moves in a wheelchair and see here we see that some of these people have already received a greeting but some have not for instance here we see a zero so it means that nobody has ever sent a greeting to this person since the project has been open and the project has been open for five years so if we wanted to send a greeting to this person and this is a female Anete. So we would click on Nosotit Apsveikum, which means send a greeting, and we see that a new page opens. And here you need to fill out your information. The first that you need to write is Vārts Uzvārts, which means your name and surname. Once more, Vārts Uzvārts. And next is E Pasta Adresse which means email address, as you can probably guess. And next is country, valsts. Valsts means your country. And here I don't think you need to really translate it. In Latvian, you can simply write your country's name in English. And finally, this is Pilsata, and Pilsata is a town or a city where you live. And again, just write it in English, because this will probably be to the administration. And next, we click the button Pietake this, which means apply or sign up. And what is going to happen is that you will receive the full address of the person, how you can send your greeting or your letter to the recipient. But next I'll show you what you might wish to write so that you know some sentences in Latvian and then you can add some of your own. So I'm opening a new page and I'll type out some words and sentences for you. So my suggestion is that you can start by saying labdien, 
which means good day and this is how um, it is normal to start a letter for a Latvian person and then we could say um, we can introduce ourselves for instance I would say Mani Sauts Ilze Berzinha and next we could say um, I am writing from and we can mention the place we are writing from for instance I would say Es rakstu no Ziemel Karolinas America which means I'm writing from North Carolina in America and here I think you'll need the help of Google Translate to translate the name of your country in Latvian and um, then you can say something about yourself for instance you can say how old you are and that would be man ir and then you write the number of your age and then you say gadi and that's how Latvians would put it in writing and then you can say that you read about them in the website of angels emails angels mail and that would be es par jums izlasīju angela pasta mājas lapā and then you can say that you wanted to bring them joy and that would be es gribēju jūs iepriecināt and then it's up to you your improvisation what you would like to say you can try writing on your own or you can use Google Translate but don't worry about errors because I assure you that these people will be simply happy to receive your mail even if there are some small errors in it uh, but they would be happy to receive a letter or a postcard from somebody far away you will definitely make their day or even their year and how we could finish our letter would be you can say Lai jums jauks šis gads, which means let you have a good year ahead or you can say I'll be thinking about you which would be es par jums domāšu you can also say uz sazināšanos which would indicate that you intend to write to them again and then you sign and I would sign Ilze Berziņa at the end you date your letter and in this case it would be 2019. Gada, and then Janvari and whatever date it is well I hope you'll write something in January but if it takes more time you can say February and you see that I have the long endings in both of these words which is the locative case okay that's it I hope I inspired you and I hope that you'll be taking an action if you want to read more about how you can help people in Latvia go to my website and read the blog post I'll share the link in the description of this video but right now I'll say bye bye Atta, till the next time